So I'm procrastinating. I have things I need to do. I have things I plan to do today. I know that I won't get all of them done. Uh, I do need to edit a video for upload tomorrow. And I have books to put away and, and things that I need to do. And all of a sudden I don't have the energy to do it, but I have to. So I guess I should get up and do that. Another thing I want to do is look for a headboard. That's something else I want to do is look for a headboard for behind my bed. I just, there's, there's so many things, so many things that need to be done, but I think that I should probably get started. Okay, the lighting in here is horrible. But I'm currently in my bathroom and while I was procrastinating, um, I came up with an idea. So one of the things that I do, like I said, this is where my hobbies live. One of my hobbies that I want to turn into a viable business solution is making bath and body care. So I've kind of dabbled over the years, but because of where um, currently right now, the situation that I'm living in, I can't make all of the things that I want to make, but I just came up with an idea for something that I would like to launch next year. So this is the year when I'm going to have to kick myself into gear. But that being said, I am going through. So a friend of mine is having a hard time right now. And I told her that I would put some stuff together for her. Now, one of the things that she loves is my lavender soaps. So these are both lavender soaps that I made. Um, and it's just for, for this, it was just a quick uh, melt and pour type soap as opposed to doing cold press, which is something I want to get into, but I don't have to do that yet. So I'm going to give those to her because she does love the lavender. I've got some bath salts here. I just don't remember which ones these are. Mmm. Okay, those are apple, but you know what? I think I'm just going to make her some new ones because I don't think these are viable anymore. <gasps> I remember this. I was trying to make a tattoo bomb, which is something else that I still want to do. But that is probably past its expiry. I've got, oh, I've got a bath bomb in here I made. I don't even remember which one that is. But I think I'm going to get rid of a lot of these because they are have probably, well, this one opened and it was a green, but now it's yellow. Okay, so note to self, don't let things sit too long. So I'm going to clean out this basket of soaps that I have. I think this was an orange and orange and clove soap that I made. And this, oh, I still love this one. But because light has gotten it, it was this color of blue, if you can even tell. And then it is now kind of faded to that. So the soaps are fine. I can hang on to those but any of the bath bombs and stuff I've got quite a few in here because I don't have a bathtub anymore I can't use them um I really don't want to get rid of these little jars though so I'm gonna do this I'm going to make some bath salts and stuff for her oh I have stuff to clean up first we're gonna get this done today but I got super excited about my new idea. And now that's one of the things I want to work on, as well as organizing this shelf itself. Great. Yeah, I guess let's get to it.
Okay, so the day is almost over. It's about quarter after eight. I'm going to end this portion of the vlog now as I continue reading for about another 45 minutes. And I will see you guys tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, good morning. It is already... 20 after 10. I've been working for a couple of hours now. Um, with yesterday being a holiday, it's been really busy. So I've been trying to deal with that. Um, what do I have going on today? Not a lot. I have to go get hay for the goats today. I'm going to be doing that soon. Um, I'm starting to get really, really excited for riding season. So that's something. Um, there's a couple of things I have to do. I might do that today. I have to look for a new helmet. And I have to, I think I'm going to look for a new jacket too. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. But those are a couple of the things that I, I want to do today. And besides that, I'm just going to get back to work, crank it out, and then see what happens at the, this afternoon after my work day is over. so my work day is over it has been a stressful day um, if you ever have those days where just nothing seems to go right and I'm trying to be everything I can for my team and today was just one of those days where things just didn't go right. I did manage to go get hay for the boys. So that was good because it started raining and today was the only day that I could go get it. So they're taken care of for hay for now. And the only thing, the only thing that made my day even remotely bearable was that my package from Bath and Body Works showed up today. So you saw in my last vlog that I had, through work, I had gotten a $50 gift card for Chapters and Indigo. Well, that same day I had also got, again through work, a $50 gift card for Bath & Body Works. So the only thing that I ever really get from there are candles because they're insanely priced. Um, I mean, if you want a three wick candle at their regular prices, it's like $27.50 or something like that. So what I tend to do is I wait until they have sales, um, which they do often. They have sales on their candles and their their body stuff, um, hand soaps and, and stuff. So I'll usually wait until they come around with a sale. Me and my roommate will go in, order a bunch of candles to save on the shipping, and then we get them delivered. But this time, because I had a $50 gift card, uh, they had a sale on one wick candles, which I found, I like the one wicks actually more than the three wicks. Sometimes I find that the three wicks are just way too potent and I end up getting a headache. Like I can't even keep the candle in the same room. I have to put it in my bathroom and even then it still it gives me a headache or you know they can smell it upstairs it's that fragrant. So I think that I'm kind of opting for the one wicks. The one wicks are like $17.50 on their own um, but they are definitely lighter on the nose and the head um, and when they're on sale sometimes you're paying eight to ten dollars for the one wick candles so i mean that's not too bad but this time they had a buy one get one free sale so like i said the one wick candles are 17.50 so i would buy one get one free so i actually got six candles in this order so i'm gonna show you guys what i got so everything comes in this cute little box um i don't 
don't even remember what I got. Let's see what's this one. This one is Tropiodelic. Sounds funny. Oh, okay. This one smells like an old boyfriend. It really, it really does. We're going back to the 90s with this one. Oh, I can't even. Uh, it smells like cologne. Oh, I couldn't even tell you. I mean, the jar has lilies on it. That's not what it smells like. Okay. Let's see, what are the what are the notes of this? Are you gonna tell me? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Irresistible passion flower, yang yang, misty rainforest. No, still smells like an old boyfriend. Okay. So, you know what that means? <laughs> this one's a gift for somebody. Um, that was, that was not, that was not pleasant. And you know, that's one of the things you just don't know if you're actually going to like what it is you're smelling at the time. So what is this one? This one is, oh, pink pineapple sunrise. So we've got that right there. Mm, this one I like. Um, fragrance notes. Sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, sun-drenched nectar. Hmm. Yeah, I like that one. That one. That one is pretty. Um, okay, so that is a keeper. I still have some of their Halloween fragrances that I didn't want to, um, I just didn't, kind of didn't want to burn yet. There's a couple, but I do have to say that I think my favorite fragrance, my favorite fragrances from them, um, one is the Sweet Whiskey. It's probably my favorite one, which is funny because I am a whiskey girl, but that one just smells amazing. But again, in a three wick, it just, it gives me a headache. This is another one of my favorites. This is Peach Bellini. Oh, I love this one. So this one is Succulent Peach, Sparkling Prosecco, and Sweet Orange. Oh, it smells so good. It, it smells like a Bellini. Oh, I love Bellinis too. Oh, definitely, I love that one so much. Um, so yeah, <laughs> Bellinis I also like, and there is another one of theirs, which is really nice, and it's called Midnight Cocktail. <sighs> is it just me or my favorite ones all kind of named after alcohols? Um, but no, they smell really good. So, so far out of three, I've got one dud. Let's see what this one is. Ugh, open it. What is this? Ooh, white tea and sage, uh, sparkling bergamot, white tea, and fresh sage. I think I had this one before. I think I gave it to my daughter. Mm, but it's really light. It, uh, it's funny, it reminds me of kind of a fresh linen smell. Um, I also love the smell of, uh, fresh out, outside. Can you stop that? Whenever I'm filming, he needs to just be vocal or do something. Oh, this one is sliding right out of the jar. Ooh, this one's a new one I've never tried. So this is a thousand wishes. And this one is, doesn't say that way. Um... Fragrance notes. Oh, pink Prosecco, crystal peonies, and amaretto cream. Oh, okay. This one. This one smells a lot like the sweet whiskey. But it's different. You can smell the difference. Mmm. Yeah, I'm, I definitely like that one. I would have got another sweet whiskey if 
it was on sale but it wasn't it wasn't part of the sale i went through all the candles that they have there and it was not part of it so i couldn't do that what is this one iced dragon fruit tea so this one is fragrance notes tropical dragon fruit a vibrant oh vibrant green tea hmm and oh sorry vibrant green tea lemonade and sweet coconut milk oh that one smells so good it smells a lot like dragon fruit this one smells tropical very tropical mm, i like that i like that a lot okay so that is all of the candles that i got um and yeah i'm gonna have to oh yeah no that it's I'm, I'm trying to remember who who it was that smelled like this oh i don't know who that is but oh, just so yeah that is it that is um what i got in my little candle haul so i i'm pretty sure that these ones as well came to about $75. So I think after the gift card, I only paid $25 for these. So that was quite the deal. Um, yeah, I think that for the rest of the day, I am exhausted from um, bailing hay and just mentally exhausted from work. So I'm probably just going to spend the rest of the night reading.